A Guide to the Pre-Workshop Activities by Dr. Robert Trug, In collaboration with the Institute for Professionalism and Ethical Practice. Hi, I'm Bob Trug. I'm one of the creators of this course, and I will be your guide to introducing you to the pre-workshop activities in the course. Our aims in this section are to help you understand the rationale for disclosure and apology, learn more about the impacts of error and adverse events, and the conversations that follow on patients, families, and clinicians, and better prepare for your own disclosure and apology conversations. In the first activity, you will hear from Lucian Leap, one of the founders of the National Patient Safety Movement, about why we should disclose medical errors and adverse events. One key reason is that patients and families have asked us to be open and honest with them when we make mistakes. They want to know what happened, and these conversations can have a significant impact on their healing. In the second activity, you will watch two parents and one patient share their experiences of medical error. They discuss their own powerful personal stories and reflect on the ways in which the conversations took place, or in some cases did not take place, and how those helped with their recovery or actually made things worse. At the end of each video, you will have an opportunity to reflect on what you have learned from that person's story. Next, you will hear stories from the other side of these conversations, from clinicians. Again, you will have an opportunity to reflect on what you learned and what resonated with your own experience as a clinician. The fourth activity brings these two perspectives together. As we hear from a patient and a clinician involved in the same adverse event, we can learn how the experience and the conversations that they had with one another help them both as individuals and in their relationship going forward. The final activities in this section of the course will help you prepare for your own disclosure and apology conversations. We will help you consider core relational values for disclosure conversations, the role of disclosure coaches, and offer some reflections as well as practical guidelines and tips to assist you in preparing for and holding disclosure and apology conversations. Once you have completed these pre-workshop activities, we hope you will register for the next moderated online workshop. In the moderated online workshop, you will be able to prepare and practice for disclosure and apology conversations by watching and discussing an error case with our faculty and the other participants. But please remember to complete all these pre-workshop activities before attending so you can gain the most from the workshop experience.